getting the fourth and final fish for the saltwater tank. As of right now, we just have the two pretty decent sized snowflake clownfish and the one itty bitty royal grandma. And the fish that we're getting today could definitely cause some havoc between him and the royal grandma. I don't know. We'll have to see. They're both two pretty territorial fish. So uh, we'll see what happens. I'm not going to tell you guys what the fish is just yet, um, but just know it is going to be a really, really cool little bitty reef fish that I think will do just fine in that tank as long as we don't have any territorial issues between him and the royal grandma. But we're just going to have to find out. So that being said, I'm going to head on to the store and uh, we're going to check out the new fish that we're going to be getting today for the saltwater tank. fish that we're going to be getting today for the saltwater tank. It is the six line rest. We've actually got two of them. This is the little bit bigger one and uh, they're just a cool little bitty reef safe fish and uh, they should do really really good in there if we don't have any problems out of the real grama being really territorial. Hopefully we don't. These guys get really territorial too. So, But they are one cool little bitty reef fish. You can see why they get that name six line rest because they have six stripes going down their body and uh, really colorful too but yeah hopefully this guy and the royal grom will work out just fine and uh like i said we're just gonna have to find out though all right just made it back home with our new addition for the saltwater tank and uh this guy's pretty cool so i'm gonna go ahead and let him go ahead and start acclimating in the tank and uh we can get a much better look at him this is gonna be a really really cool addition to the tank like I said, hopefully we don't have any issues between him and the Royal Grandma. As long as they keep their distance between each other, then uh, I don't think we'll have a problem. They're about the same size. You can see that guy right there and the Royal Grandma. He's way back there. They're both about an inch to an inch and a half, not too big. And uh, both of these fish will get about the same size as well. Not, not too much bigger. The Royal Grandma might get a tad bit bigger than this guy. Uh, but none of these fish are going to get really, really big. So, And there's a little cleaner shrimp up there checking the bag out as well. Look at this. He absolutely loves to just jump on my hand every time I put it in the tank. Look at that. Every single time I go in the tank to like move a coral or something, he just jumps right on my hand. It's crazy. So we're going to let that little guy acclimate to the temperature of the tank. And while he acclimates, let's announce the giveaway winner. So quite a few of you guys entered the giveaway that I did earlier in the week. And uh, I think it's time to announce a winner. So the winner of the giveaway is Tyler. Just Tyler. That That's it. So... Please DM me on Instagram, message me on Instagram uh, so that way you can claim it and uh, I'll get all your info and all that on there. But please message me within the next few days or so because if you don't, then it's going to be right back open and everybody else will have an equal shot at getting it. So if you guys didn't win it this time, don't get discouraged because obviously not everybody can win a 10 gallon box kit. Like I said, quite a few of you guys entered it so I couldn't give one to every single one of you guys i wish i could but i just can't do that but i promise you i will be doing more giveaways in the future so stay tuned and the peacocks are looking and doing really really good there's the ob right there kind of spook there's the dragon blood up there there's a little bitty leperinus that guy's gotten kind of aggressive towards the peacocks i've noticed and uh there's the sunshine right back there in the plants but those guys are doing great they're eating and all that swimming around and are looking great in the tank so here pretty soon, probably within the next two weeks or so, I'm going to add a few more peacocks to the tank um, because these guys are doing really well, and I don't want to have just three of them in here. I'd like to add a few more. Uh, but yeah, the little leperinus, I don't know what's gotten into this guy. He is tiny, but he, you know, it's weird because he'll be swimming in a little school with the peacocks sometimes, and then all of a sudden he'll get really territorial and then just go after one of them for no reason. So... I don't know, he, he kind of acts weird sometimes, but he's a cool little fish to have in here. Now also down here on one of our guppy tanks, it's looking really, really good. We are finally clear of all the hair algae and all of the algae that was growing on the plants. Remember, we not only had that hair algae that was really stringy in here, and we got the two Siamese algae eaters, they took care of that within like a week or so. But there was still a bunch of algae on the Anubias and some on the Subulata and the Amazon swords back there. And now that is all cleared up, so all the plants in here are looking and doing really, really good. And uh, this is what the quarry cats have done. You know, when I first set this tank up, it was eco-complete down here and sand over top of it. And they have kind of trimmed an edge. And uh, I think it kind of looks cool, honestly. It doesn't look that bad. You know, if it was here and there, gravel, you know, just scattered around everywhere, I don't think that would look too well. But it's kind of like just a distinct line right there that they have kind of they've kind of trenched out. So I think it looks pretty cool, but they're all doing great. All the, of the five stir-by quarries, they all kind of hang out in a little school like that. 
And uh, so are the guppies. They're doing really, really good as well. Cannot wait until these guys start to breed. They're finally getting big enough to where they can breed. That male right there is just about full grown, but the rest of them are uh, they're starting to catch up to them now. All right, so this guy, he's had long enough now to acclimate. So that being said, let's go and get him out of the bag and into the tank. All right, here we go in three, two, one, bloop. Clownfish are probably going to go down there and check him out if they see him, but it is going to be really, really interesting to see what happens when the grama and that little guy meet. There's the royal grama. He sees him. He's looking down there at him. Let's see what happens when they come face to face, though. It's going to be pretty interesting. Okay, so you see how this is working out? The six line wrasse is right here, and the royal grama is right up there. Now, he sees him. He's been watching him here for about a minute or so, but you see how they're keeping their distance between each other, and this tank is plenty big enough for them to have their own little cave in here. So if they do that, then we're not going to have a problem at all. But if one of them decides that he wants to run the tank, then uh, that's going to become a problem. I don't know what he just did, but he just ran back there. There's the grandma. He kind of likes to stay right there in the middle, kind of, but he does go in a cave at night when I turn the lights off. So let's just hope that the six line rest doesn't pick the same cave as the Royal Grommas to go in tonight. And as long as he doesn't do that, then we shouldn't have a problem. And you know what? I don't even see this, the rest anymore. He was hanging out right up underneath this rock right here, and he's done went all up in there somewhere. So he's in here, though, and I think he's going to do great. I'll definitely keep a very, very close eye on him. So then we'll go ahead and let the lights go ahead and shut off, and we'll come back in the morning and check on the rats and uh, see what's going on then. So I got out here pretty early this morning, right when the lights were just shutting on, like right when the coils were starting to open up, and uh, I did some filming of the six-line rats, and I gotta say, this little guy is such a cool little fish. He gets constantly moving around the tank looking for something to eat in and between the rocks. And uh, he came into contact several times with the Royal Grama and there was no signs of aggression whatsoever. So that's really, really good. I actually fed the tank and he was already eating a couple of mice shrimp this morning. And uh, right now he's actually right out here in the front right next to the Royal Grama and the Clownfish. So uh, that's great. All four of the fish are getting along, of course. I don't think the Clownfish are going to have any issues with them because uh, they mostly stay in the front part of the tank anyways, hanging up there at the top of the water together. Um, but yeah, everything is doing great in the saltwater tank. All the fish, all the corals are. And I think that right there, that little six-line wrasse, is going to pretty much complete the saltwater tank as far as fish. I still want to add a couple more different corals to the tank, but as far as fish, I think we have a pretty good number at four. Now, just because the six-line wrasse and the Royal Grom are getting along right now, that doesn't mean that they're going to be getting along in a week from now. So, we're going to have to give him a little bit more time to settle into the tank and all that, and he might try to establish dominance over the Royal Grom. I don't know. Hopefully not, because right now, obviously, um, they're getting along just fine. The Royal Grama seems to pay a lot more attention to him than the Six on Rats does to the Grama. So that's great. They're all getting along. They're right out here in the front swimming out here together. And uh, yeah, they're all looking really, really good. But that is going to pretty much do it for now. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And also, if you guys haven't checked out last video, go check it out. I caught a pretty big grass carp out there in my backyard pond. And also, if there's any other fishing videos that you guys want me to do down there in my pond, please let me know as well. So thank you guys for watching. And with that being said, I'll catch all of you guys in the next video. Peace.